July 2022. Dear Fandom, I can't believe we're here. The last couple years have been rough, but let's talk Silver Lining. Being stuck at home with only TikTok and Crunchyroll has blown up the anime world. We're bigger than ever, and yet somehow, female characters are still playing second fiddle. Fighter, slayer, titan, sailor, senshi. We were so tiny, happy and shiny, being heroes, getting chased. Villain, hero, hero, villain. Fighting and zapping, laughing and napping, against the highest stakes. Slayer, Tiger, Senshi. Then we got bigger, that was the trigger, the hero's name in every home. Oh, not a dog. Welcome to our place, welcome to our space, this is the battle zone. Hold your breath and count the days, they're coming for us soon. You're trapped! We're watching all our episodes till new seasons in June. I pray, I pray for a better way If things change back then, they could change again Let's be beautiful Just for today We can be clever, try to be better Get back up when we're pushed down Fight with the plot line, fight with the grand design Run right into the ground Dream of getting through Day without them yelling trash Useless! Fight the urge to use my fist And finally strike back Ah, sorry Nezuko-chan Nezuko is new here, but she's a powerhouse Did you watch the Entertainment District arc? Amazing! She's absolutely loved But I've seen fandoms turn in the blink of an eye Must protect the cinnamon rolls! But I know, I know Life can be beautiful I pray Hey! That's Usagi, aka Sailor Moon, aka probably the most popular and well-liked female character out there. She's loyal to her friends, easy to get along with, and I've watched this girl literally vaporize her enemies at the end of almost every episode, which kind of just makes her more popular, justifiably. Wanna hang out later? <laughs> sure. And of course, that's Mikasa. Strong from day one, complex has a great development arc, a purpose to the storyline, a substantial relationship with the MC, the ability to make a red scarf in summer seem totally normal. No, I'm not jealous, I'm just trying to make a point. That one is Toga. We actually don't know why she's here, but no one can tell her to leave. You kind of just thank her for her time and get out of the way. There's just something about her that inexplicably makes you root for her, even though she's the villain. Go figure. And then there's me, the Kanoichi everyone loves to hate. Bar the fact that I don't come from a special clan or have a demon locked inside of me, I still trained with Kakashi Sensei and Tsunade Sama, brought a Kage back to life, and oh yeah, manually pumped Naruto's heart in my hand to keep him alive! But sure, not me for cutting my hair when I could have easily stabbed that Kanoichi in the kneecap. We all have regrets. 